In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to recover an older Pro Tools session, Pro Tools 6 or earlier, that was created on a Mac and saved without Mac to PC compatibility enforced, and also was subsequently burned to DVD for archiving or some other form uh, for archiving, and uh, in the process had the resource forks for the files stripped. Uh, let's suffice to say that uh, if you have a huge session, lots of files, and lots of editing was done in the session, uh, regions dragged around uh, all over the timeline, copied and pasted and stuff like that, uh, if you got that kind of session, the only hope that you have of recovering it is to put it back on a Mac and to recreate the resource forks in the audio files and then open it in Pro Tools and then save it again. Otherwise, uh, the method I'm going to show you uh, this is recovering one of these kinds of sessions, and this is on a PC. Uh, the method I'm going to show you is going to lose uh, all of the trim, the editing trim, and it's going to lose fades uh, and things like that. And those can be easily created in a small session where regions weren't really slipped and slid all over the place. Uh, so what I'm going to sh show you is how to recover a simple session like that on a PC. So here we have, we have our... Uh, PT Pro Tools session right here, and as you can see, it has no suffix on the name. That's because it was saved on a Mac without the PC compatibility enforced. And then we have our audio files folder, and these, of course, are SD2 files. So I want to show you first off, well, we know that this was created in an older version of Pro Tools, and older versions of Pro Tools had .pts as the suffix, not PTF, PTS. So now that we have the suffix on the name, Let's go ahead and open it in Pro Tools. And we're going to see that Pro Tools is going to tell us that it's missing files and all that sort of stuff. Let's see. This session was created on a Macintosh without Mac PC compatibility enforced. This session and any of its associated media files that are not PC compatible will be copied to a new location. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it in the same place. Uh, we're going to tell it to... Yeah, we want to change to broadcast WAV files. Sample rate 44.1. 24 bit. These are probably the same as the session already was, uh, so let's not change them. Uh, and we're going to say OK. Now, even though we have all audio files as items to copy, it can't do it because these audio files have had their resource forks stripped. So we're going to say OK. And in the session recovery, we're going to say copy of session recovery, and it's going to create a new folder and a new Pro Tools session. Okay, so now it says there's all these uh, files that are missing. It wants to relink them. Don't bother trying. It's not going to work. So we're just going to say skip all. And so we're in copy of. Now, j let's just make sure what the older previous session was. Let's make sure that um, we're going to go to import session data. And we want to look at this session here, session recovery. And we want to see, okay, it was saved in Pro Tools LE on Mac 6.4. Uh, it is 24-bit, and it is 44.1. Okay, so we verify that information. Now let's see what we can do about getting our files back in here. Uh, here's our audio files, and uh, Rail John Rogat has uh, created this program called SD2Wave, and this is exactly for recovering SD2 files and converting them to WAV files and it can do it even if the resource forks in the original source files have been stripped. So we know the files are 44.1, we know that it's 24-bit, uh, we know that they're one-channel files because Pro Tools only handles uh, mono files, mono and multi-mono. And yes, we do want to flip bytes because on, um, on a Mac, on the older Mac versions, uh, the files were big endian, and on Windows they're a little endian. Uh, so we do want to flip the bytes. So we're going to set our source as all of these files. We're going to select them all, and then we're going to say our destination. Uh, let's put it. Whoop. Uh, let's see. Let's put it here. Copy of session recovery. It's in the audio files folder. No, let's not put it in there. Let's put it in uh, a recovered files folder. There we go. Recovered. Open. Select. Uh, we're gonna. We don't need to worry about ignoring resource forks because there aren't any. 
Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, convert. And SD2 Wave is going to convert them all. Okay, it's converted, and we can look here in Recovered, and there they are. They're all there. Okay, so we're going to go back into our Pro Tools session here, and let's go ahead and look at our files, our regions. That's kind of a mess. Hmm. Anyway, not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and take all of our Recovered files and drop them in right there. We're going to let them import. And as we can see, as they're importing, the names are going from uh, uh, italicized to bold. That means they are in and copied. Let's show a little less of this stuff. Let's take off a uh, disk name. There we go. That makes sense. All right, so these are our replacement regions that we brought in in bold, and these are the missing regions that are in italics. They were the original SD2 regions. So how can we fix this now? Well, Pro Tools, we have a function in here that says uh, match. We can match this regions with other regions. But before you start just matching right now, you got to understand that we lost the region boundaries that were originally in the SD2 files. So if there's been trimming done at the front, if you match it with another region, uh, that's that we just brought into the the the, the um, regions bin. It's going to drop the head of the file here instead of where it should be there. So let's go through here and let's turn off uh, any grouping and let's pull the head of every region out all the way because uh, luckily this is a pretty simple session, not very many regions, and uh, all these regions has have not been slipped around. Uh, so we can easily recreate the original session. Let's, uh, whoop, that's not what I want. I want to view playlist. So we pull these all out. Huh. And uh, there we go. So we can ignore the fades on the back. They're going to go away, but we pull out the front of all the regions. Don't need to worry about the back, just the front. Okay, so now the fronts have been pulled out to the, the, to the beginning of the file. Now we can actually go in and start matching uh, the regions. This one's named Track 1 Vocals-02. So we look down here and we have Track 1 Vocals. There we go. And this is lead guitar dot oh one underscore oh seven. So we look for lead guitar dot oh one underscore oh seven. Lead guitar f dot oh one. Uh, lead guitar f dot oh one. Lead guitar b dot oh one. Lead guitar b dot oh one. Track one guitar dash oh two. Track one. Guitar, yeah, that would be it. Keys underscore O three. So there we go. Then keys underscore five. Okay. Then we have organ underscore O three. There we go. And you can see I'm changing these to. There we go, track one bass.l. Yeah. Track one kick dash o two. Track one kick. Okay, yeah, that would be it. And then we have our uh, track one snare. Track one tom. Track one overhead one. and track one overhead two. Okay, we've recovered, oh wait, here we got another region we're missing. And this will be organ 05, there we go. 
Okay. And as you can see, it made uh, all of the uh, fades on the rear end disappear. Uh, now, are there any alternate playlists? Uh, not for stereo. Uh, how about for mono? Yes. We have lead guitar B, F, and L all have alternate playlists. So let's swap these. Lead guitar L. Okay, nothing there. Lead guitar F. Yes, we have something there. Let's pull the front out. And we'll match. These are F underscore 10. Yep, there we go. And then this one had lead guitar B. Uh, lead guitar B11. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we can switch these back to the playlist they were on. All right, uh, now we can clean up this. Oh, let's go ahead and save it. Control S. We're going to select unused. And, hmm. Oh, I got the right one. Uh, three, uh, two. Must be one never used. Okay. Uh, so let's select unused, accept whole files, and we'll clear. Remove, uh, and we still have some unused there. The, the Pro Tools has got a bug where right now that, uh, and this is Pro Tools 805, has a bug right now that uh, anything that had a fade on it uh, won't be selected. So if we close the session, if we reopen the session, whoop. We're going to skip this. Select unused, Oop. select unused, accept whole files, and we're going to say clear, remove. Now that's got most of them out. Let's see, we still have a couple clinging on here. We got one on there, and we got one there. That looks like it. So let's clear those. All right, and we save, and now you can. We could retrim the fronts. Uh, we can put our fades back on that we want, but I guarantee you everything is back in line the way it should be. And uh, so this session has been recovered on Windows uh, from a previous uh, Pro Tool 6 version from Mac that did not have the Mac to PC compatibility enforced. Uh, if you're trying to do this, good luck. I hope you're able to. Uh, get it together, but uh, if this ain't working for you, honestly, the only alternative you have if your files have their resource fork stripped is to get them back on a Mac, recreate the resource forks, open it in Pro Tools on the Mac, convert everything, uh, change it from uh, SD2 media files to WAVE, and and update the version of you know the Pro Tools session and and do everything on a Mac because. Uh, honestly, if it's not as simple as I showed you on the video for your session and trying to recover it, it ain't going to happen on a PC. You got to do it on a Mac. Anyway, thanks for watching.